And now the exercise. But before we start, a short clarification. What it means to hold your breath and what you achieve by increasing the length of time you hold your breath when you breathe in and also when you exhale. What you feel when you increase the time you hold each breath in and out and what the length of the pause in between each breath in and out is, what does it do for us? When the concentration of oxygen in the blood suddenly increases, your body understands that a large volume of oxygen has started entering your system and the body starts blocking the access to the cells for the oxidizers by constricting the blood vessels and capillaries. This is what we need. Why do we need it? First, because it trains the lungs. Second, it trains the arteries. Third, it eliminates the potential thickening of those arteries which may be prone to such thickening, especially in the lungs. These exercises, which we are doing now, have a therapeutic effect by causing positive changes in the lungs, especially for those people who have a sedentary way of life, or for those who are in danger of suffering a heart attack. This exercise is used to bring about an almost immediate improvement in the condition. So when we increase the volume we inhale, and the length of time we take to inhale, the concentration of oxygen will increase, which will constrict the blood vessels. Then, when we increase the length of time we take to exhale, the concentration of carbon dioxide will increase. When you increase the amount of carbon dioxide in your blood, your body wants to expel it because there's an excessive amount, so your arteries and capillaries start to dilate. So, during the exercises, we deliberately dilate the capillaries all over our body, constrict, dilate, constrict, dilate, constrict. This is the basic training. We can say it's like athletics training your blood vessels. By training yourself to do this constricting, dilating, we achieve an interesting result. Your brain develops, remembers, and restores its reaction to the changes in the external factors. So the ability of your body to adapt increases. So the aim is first to improve the reaction of the body and how it adapts to external factors. Second, to decrease or eliminate the thickening of the arteries and especially the capillaries. Third, to improve the nutritious supply of oxygen to all parts of the body and to train the whole cardiac and vascular system. The main purpose of the breathing exercises is to extend the capacity of the lungs and restore them to their original youthful, vigorous state which is very important for people who work in professions where they use their brains.